Hello and welcome to this video and we're going to do a five minute blitz game today uh, with a random color. Alright, so off we go. We're playing Mayorov. So we're going to start with E4. Mayorov 777 seven, seven, rated 1873. D4. And we'll go for the advanced variation of the French following up C3 if... Actually, this is not the French, this is the Kari Khan. Wake up, Tim. Okay, I've never seen this response. I think... Um, we should be fine just to continue development for now. And if he plays something bishop g7, I will probably take that pawn off on... Yeah, okay. So there's lots of nice holes on the black squares. So we can actually think about following this up with bishop g5 to accentuate these holes. Um, yeah, let's just think about this. Queen d2. Queen d2 looks good. I think the two looks okay. And, all right, so we're going to trade off this bishop here. Or we could just leave this here, actually. Um, yeah, let's just bring our bishop back, actually, and not help black too much in his development. Well, the bishop isn't a great bishop, um, and we've given up our white squared bishop, but so is black. So just think maybe actually castling long would work here. So I think c3 to protect the b2 pawn along here. Okay. And we'll just get castled, I think. I don't think black has that easy a time of it castling himself. So it's going to play knight a3 to get the knight developed and bring the knight back to c2 we might need to play rook to b1 okay so i'm actually going to play here bishop takes because i don't really want to keep my bishop i want to get rid of my bishop because it's not that great a bishop and actually let's now just take this with the knight to get a knight in a nice central square if black gives up this one i'm happy with my play on the queen side i think Black has a slightly difficult decision to know where to put his king. And therefore, I think we can actually play, think about playing... If queen comes on the C file, yeah, we can just play something like rook b3 here to protect along the third rank. And sometimes we can actually bring this rook across here. So I'm planning to play... Okay, so we've actually got already a win of this rook now because we're attacking the queen, queen must move, and then we follow with... Ah, but queen takes e5. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, queen takes e5. Queen takes e5 can be met with rook e1. And then black's king is going to get opened up here. And if the queen moves, we win the rook on c8. We win the exchange. Okay, so black uh, black is going for that. So we're going to hit the queen on the e file. Where does the queen go to? It wants to go to f6, but then we can take on d5 here. So I think most, I think we can take on d5 because of the pinned so let's crack on with that. Now we've got uh, knight to d6 check. Okay, so knight here check. Um, that's interesting now. Let's just think about this. Um, knight here check would be answered with king moves. King moves to the f file. And then if we took this, we would lose our queen. So this is a bit tricky now. Let's actually go queen d4. Queen d4, now we're threatening knight d6 check to win the rook. And we're also threatening the rook on h8. So it's rather difficult to, I mean, knight d5. Yeah, there's no, you can castle here. Um, the castling does work actually. Yeah, that's nice. And then queen f6 looks pretty strong. If we play knight here first, then I guess rook will pin the queen. So let's go in here. Hitting then, I have to play knight g6 now to protect the knight and the h6 pawn. I think black, I think white has easily enough play here for the, for the, um, yeah, okay. So what about h4 now? h4 just to kick the knight. That looks good. 
and get some breathing space for our king as well. We're gonna plan to play h5, and then when the knight moves, we're taking h6. So black will probably want to protect this h6 pawn. And we've got this idea of playing c4 and rook across. I mean, that could be really nasty here. Um, like, you know, I mean, that's going to be close to winning. Very hard. Okay. I think we're just going to push on with h5 here. Because um, this is going to open everything up. I mean, if we get takes, takes, this has got to be winning for white. So if the knight moves, we can move our knight somewhere. We've also got some ideas of rookie six, because that's going to be pretty nice. I think white's pretty close to winning here. It's just a question of whether I can hold it together. Let's just see. So I don't see any good squares for the knight. OK, so then we take the knight with check. So that doesn't look good because then we've got rook e6, queen e7 check. And then after the king moves, king g 8s bad because of queen takes e6 check. And now we can just move our knight here, I think. And I think we're just a piece up now, fairly comfortably. We can't play rook e8 because the knight's covering that square and we're threatening to take on e6. We're threatening, well, I don't think you can stop taking on e6. I think this is, I think this is gone now. So I think white will I think black will resign fairly quickly. Um, I don't see a way to hold everything together. Um, rook, rook c seven, rook c seven may be a move actually. Rook c seven just um, queen takes e six check I think looks good. Yeah, I think this is gone now. We'll just wait for a resignation. Okay, so rook g8. So actually, knight f7 check forces the king. So we have the discovered check. This looks quite nice. Let's try this now. This is now going to force a discovered check because the king has to come up to the seventh rank. So uh, we can play the knight d6 and take a rook. We could even check on this. Ah, doesn't this win? Knight g5 check and then followed by mate on h7. Is that not right? I think that's right. King has to go back here and then we mate on h7. Yeah, okay, that's good. All right, thanks for watching that game.